Hey, today we're gonna make some root beer, some homemade root beer. We got some cane sugar, and this is uh, this recipe is good for uh, approximately two liters. So we're gonna use five. We're gonna use five 750 mil bottles. And so we're sanitizing our bottles right now. The three ingredients that we're gonna use is this root beer extract. Okay, and then this yeast here, active dry yeast. They say you can use baker's yeast, but this is what they gave me at the, uh, at the beer store. So we're gonna try this, and then cane sugar. So I have two cups of this. So again, this recipe is for two liters. And so it'll be for every two liters, uh, you use a, a tablespoon of this. So we'll just have to do some math as far as spreading it out uh, in our beer in our root beer bottles. Um, so we're gonna distribute that evenly amongst five 750 ml bottles. So we're not gonna get it perfect, but we're gonna get as close as we can. And then, uh, so we're gonna get a funnel. We got these all sanitized. And then we're gonna dump our sugar in there and then the root beer extract. And then we're gonna fill the rest up with water just to about here. And then we're gonna pour the yeast in and then shake it around or put the cap on, shake it around. And then we're gonna let it ferment for about three days. All right, for our five bottles here, we're gonna use a half a cup of sugar in each. Because uh, two cups divided by five is 0.4. We're gonna round it up. So here's our half, so that's gonna go in each one. Okay, for each of these bottles, half a cup of sugar. And then I've got quarter teaspoons there, so we're gonna do two of these. So we're gonna go a half a teaspoon of root beer extract in each one. Okay, so we'll just go like this, funnel. Okay, load that up. Okay, seems like a lot of sugar, but I think soda's got a lot of sugar in it anyway. Let's do it. There we go. This is gonna be some sugary stuff. This is our first time doing this, so if we need to dial it back a little bit, if it ends up being too much sugar, then uh, maybe we'll cut it in half. So maybe to a quarter cup of sugar in each 750 ml bottle. Do all these. Okay, we're adding our root beer extract now. Perfect. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll fill the rest up with water and it'll kind of help wash the extract down too. So we're just gonna fill this up with cold water. And we'll fill the rest up with cold water. We got enough room for expansion too. Okay, right about there. Okay, we got all our bottles filled up with all our stuff in there. Now we're just gotta do the yeast. So we're gonna just split that pack up between five bottles. We're just gonna kinda eyeball it and do a little bit in each one. Okay, perfect for that one. Perfect. Yep, and then we're just gonna evenly distribute the yeast between the five. Once we get in there, that in there, we're gonna screw the caps on and then we're gonna shake them around. All right, we got them all capped, yep, give them good shake. We're just gonna let them sit for about three days so today's thursday so sunday we're gonna put them in the freezer or in the freezer in the fridge you see how these are pretty soft still and the caps are on really good 
these bottles should be nice and firm but i'm going to keep an eye on them. we're going to watch them the yeast is going to work on these too so all right see you in a couple days there's the ingredients here and it looks like we uh, put too much sugar in but that's okay we're going to test it out anyway and uh so but it's supposed to be one cup for every two liters and i think we did two cups so we probably got like double the sugar but that's okay it's our first time we'll see how it turns out Okay, there's the root beer. Looks like it's working. How's the taste? It's good. Let's try it. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we just need a little vanilla ice cream. Oh, that's tasty. That turned out good.